when we really understand the message of this feast of Mary, the feast of her assumption, body and soul, into heaven, we will more readily say with the psalmist, I give you praise, Lord, because I am wondrously made. Indeed, there is a great value to this human body that has been so wondrously created by God. But that's a truth that's being forgotten in the world in which we live, where as we don't have to look far to see that the human body is exploited and abused in our world today, sold and trafficked for pleasure, indeed mutilated, dismembered, destroyed for political power by war, by terrorism, by violence. There is not much respect for the human body in our world. And yet, why is the human body so connected with this feast? Because, let us listen carefully, Mary shares in the first fruits of Christ's redemption. When Jesus rose, he did not rise merely as a spirit. He rose in totality, body and spirit, a new body, a glorified body, but embodied nevertheless. And his mother, who had the privilege of bearing her divine son in her very womb, is not permitted to experience the corruption of the body. Rather, at her death, she is raised body and soul into God's presence. But whatever we say of Mary, whatever we believe of Mary, we also believe of ourselves as the church, Christ's own body. But even as Christian people, we tend to forget this. We emphasize the soul, and that's what we remember or consider living on after death. We forget that Orthodox Christian belief is that, yes, at our death, our soul goes to be at peace with God. But the resurrection that we await is the resurrection of the body. And if we said the Apostles' Creed more often than we do the Nicene, then we'd be constantly reminded of that. And when is that resurrection? On the last day. Because we too, having been baptized and having the privilege of receiving the divinity of Christ in his body, are also destined to live body and soul in God's presence on the last day. So as we hear that message coming through in this Feast of the Assumption, let us have a new appreciation of the gift of our body, the body that was indeed wondrously made by God, and the great promise that is before us today in Mary's Assumption is that our own bodies will be gloriously remade by God on the last day.